are currently on poor Tracker Street. Rondo is a, is a young up and coming artist from, from Site B in Kyalicha. Uh, and he finds inspiration from his work on the people and the cultures in the townships. I like the scale of it um, and the fact that it's just like one single portrait of a person yeah. and I like the mixture of wildlife and urban sort of landscape so it's, it's very cool. We initiated the project because it's important to include people who work and live in the area to be part of revitalizing the area. So an artwork like this I think what it does is, is it brings the people, the businesses, the business owners, the city planners, the, the people, just brings them together, unifies them. And what we've noticed also here in Para is that as long as these murals have been up, none of, them, none of the people have actually been vandalizing them because people are taking pride in them. and it's fascinating. So this, this was a painting done by Chris or Red. <laughs> It's refreshing. It's exciting. I think this tour is very important because um, there's very there's a lot of untapped um, potential that lies in Paro. Coming here and having a look at the art, you know, it brings people together. It brings cultures together. You know, we get an experience of the diversity and culture that is Paro. like this is a really great idea because it can bring people from outside the community into the community. I think this artwork really changed Paro um, in the sense that it made it so beautiful. Our hopes for the Paro area is the GTP is for Paro to become a really prominent and well-known area where the community is taking pride and ownership of their streets, um, for Paro to develop its own distinct and unique identity and characteristic, which is different to Bolville, which is right next door. Um, yeah, and for Paro to be put on the map because it's a place where the people who live there take ownership of the streets. 